Hi folks, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. This is part three in the story of a Tesla repair. In fact, the story of Red Dragon's repairs after our encounter with the deer. You'll recall that in the previous episodes, I talked about the bodywork and the replacements and the paint job that was done at number one collision in Richmond. I mentioned that I was perfectly satisfied. In fact, my doors came back more perfectly aligned than when I bought the car. That's serious. Um, everyone complained about panel gaps in those early days. When it came back from the repairs, they were absolutely perfect. One thing that's missing, after the repairs they did, they must have taken off the rubber, I call it an O-ring. It's a large circular loop of rubber, circular rubber, that fits in the groove around the front roof glass. And it helps to reduce wind noise, giving you a quieter ride. So I'll check with them if they have it. If not, I'll just have to buy a new one. They're not very expensive, but they are something that was necessary with the early 2018 models. And by the way, before we get going with this episode, I have a very big episode that I'm working on. 10 reasons why there will be no Tesla killer. Otherwise, I could title it, There is no Tesla killer. I'm still not sure, sort of going either way. But that's going to be something I'm working on tomorrow. And advanced notification. As I mentioned to people before, the accessory that gives me the most comfort when I'm driving Red Dragon are these fantastic headrests that I got three years ago. And every time I'm on a long trip, that headrest is in place. Took one or two trips to get used to it. After that, I could not do without it. Derek has been kind enough to volunteer a pair of these for a draw or a raffle on my site. In the next episode, you're gonna get the opportunity to enter your name by putting a comment in the comment section if you want to win a pair of those beautiful Tesla headrests. In the meantime, let's get going with today's episode. So what's left of the repairs? Well, obviously you always hear that the job is not done until the paperwork's finished. And so there are issues outstanding with ICBC, who are the insurers in the province of British Columbia. You don't have a choice for your primary car insurance. It happens through ICBC. One of the things that I was made aware of when I spoke with a representative was that because the car is three years old, certain of the parts would not be fully paid for Tesla obviously have one set of rubber seals on the inside of the doors and you can see here there's only one set on the left hand side now but on my right hand side doors I have two. I did go on to Amazon and purchase the seals, the additional seals that give a double seal and those also help to keep out dust, noise and to make the cabin more sealed off from the environment around it. But the final and the biggest job was the replacement of the protective paint film that had been on the left hand side, on the back side of the mirror on the rocker panels underneath, on the front quarter panel, the rear quarter panel, had to be removed, had to be thrown away, and needed to be replaced. Those of you who've never seen my original episode in which I took the car to Ken Wilson of AutoWorks Exclusive, and he originally put on the PPF, may be interested in a little bit of follow-up on that initial installation. When I was having the car repaired, they mentioned that they'd seen there was protective paint film on the doors, but that they almost missed it because the edges were so very, very carefully wrapped around the panel and were out of sight. So the edges never peeled, they never lifted, it never started to come off. And that's part of the reason I took it to Ken Wilson because he is meticulous. He's like OCD about the edges of the protective paint film. So that was the first thing. The second thing was over the three years I've had it, it never turned cloudy or opaque. It never hid the beautiful paint job underneath. I just want to mention, because I know people always ask, what was the PPF that you had installed? It was Expel Ultimate. Really, really good. It comes with a 10-year warranty in the three years that I've had it. 
There has never been a sign it was in use, excepting for one very sad incident on the back of the car. Now, Ken was very kind, and um, he threw in, at no charge, a very small little strip that fits on the back of the trunk, just below the lower lip of the trunk, so that when you're loading things or you're unloading things, that's a part that will easily get scratched. Sad to relate that in the three years, I don't know when it happened, I'm convinced something bumped into me from behind and it made a mark on that area. Then I might have been careless in loading or unloading something into the back of the car and another mark developed. Unfortunately, that looked like it went straight through to the paint. So, uh, you know, it bugged Janine more than it bugged me because I realized that no car stays perfect. I left the car and when I came back, I was stunned. As I was walking around the car and I looked at the back and I noticed that those damaged areas were no longer there. And Ken came up to me and he says, listen, I noticed that you'd done some damage to the back. He says, I peeled off the old film and all of the damage was only on the PPF, on the film. He says, when I looked at it, I thought that had to be the paint for sure. When I took it off, your paint was undamaged. <laughs> Janine was happy. I was happy. Ken was ecstatic because it demonstrated again what he kept telling me in the beginning. Peter, put the film on when the car is new, when the paint is new. You can get little dings and little marks. Generally, it will happen only to the protective paint film. Even if you wash the car and you get swirl marks on the PPF, just take a hairdryer and dry it and heat it and those marks disappear. That's apparently one of the properties of Expel Ultimate. When I saw this, it was like, why didn't I get the whole car done in the beginning? You see, I had the front of the car done. I had the rocket panels and the front and the upper fender. I really should have done the whole thing. But in any case, that's water under the bridge. And I just wanted to tell you that Ken did a tremendous job of putting back the protective paint film. I paid him as well to do the four doors. Couldn't afford to get the rest of the back done, but I asked him for a price on the four doors. And here you can see Ken applying the PPF. Let me use this opportunity to remind all of you that if you're getting a new Tesla, or you've just got one, or you've had it for a year or so, the most important thing you can do for the protection of the exterior is protective paint film followed by ceramic coating. And when I took the car back again, Ken gave me a full ceramic coating of the entire car. And you can see here on the glass roof, those water droplets look so beautiful, just like a piece of art, really. And that happens when you have a new ceramic coating applied. It makes washing the car easier. It protects the actual paint from insect droppings, acid from the air, all kinds of pollutants and things that will destroy and cause degeneration to the paint surface. That's what protective paint does. And the ease of washing is simply because that protective paint film is so slippery and so easy to wash that just throw some water on, wipe it with a cloth, and literally it comes clean. That's the end of my repair story. Now, if you didn't catch the first and the second episode of the story of a Tesla repair, I've put the links down below. I've also put the link down below for our PayPal donations link. And to those who have been donating, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.